This smells unbelievable. I already smell the waffle coming to be. And it smells a little sweet. I smell corn. No, you smell. How much chicken do you go through? Oh my God. Maybe like 50 to 60 cases of chicken a week. We make the baked chicken. We make jerk chicken. We make barbecue chicken. And we make chicken chicken. <laughs> this is the chicken, chicken chicken, yeah. So here's the chicken that I marinated overnight. Oh wow. And what's, I don't, I'm not gonna ask. I can't tell you. No, it's okay. <laughs> I know better than to ask. Some recipes you know right away, you're just not gonna get them. But this is it your is. recipe? It is my recipe. I've been using this recipe ever since we opened here Mother's Day 1998. You've been I, here since the I've day the doors opened? I've been here since open. the day the doors opened. When I started here... 1998? 1998. I didn't know anything about her store. It's just that I worked in Brooklyn. And I didn't want to work in Brooklyn anymore. So once I heard about this, it didn't matter if I knew how to do the soul food. I was going to give it a try. My relatives came from the South, about six of them. They came and they taught me how to cook, because I only knew accounting. They gave me the instructions said, and down, I followed them. Put down your accounting book and start cooking. Yes. So what was the first thing you cooked? Probably macaroni and cheese. Yeah. They call it the old-fashioned three cheese macaroni. Yeah. And it has eggs in the mixture. That's really unusual. Why do you put that in there? What to is make that it adding? come together, make it bind together, like love and a family. Everything is family and love. A lot of people have said I cooked it with love, and I think, <laughs> but you said it, and I believe it, and I can taste it. This is just about finished. So while it's cooking off, what would you like to have with the chicken? I want you to give me the chicken the way I should eat it properly. I'm gonna let you try the waffle. Have you had our waffles? No. Nope. Okay. We make the best waffle. I love it. There is a super secret ingredient here that is literally making it smell intoxicatingly good in here. I'm smelling chicken frying in the background getting all golden brown, and then this waffle batter with a mystery ingredient. I'm not telling them. Thank you so much. They have to come here. You could come here and I'll, I'll make it for you. I like it. Request yes. permission to dive in. Yes, you have permission. There's so much flavor. I mean, it's literally like a, a flavor bomb. Mm, wow. Oh my God. This is so good. The acidity on these collard greens is amazing. And they're not cooked to smithereens. Right. They've got a little tooth on them. It's apple cider vinegar and brown sugar. Mm. I love the lemonade. Thank you so much. This is, and you the make The lemonade these... is fresh also. We squeeze the lemons. You must be exhausted. Yeah, we lemons. Do that. There's a lot of labor that goes into a meal as simple. I do this because it's natural. You cannot pull off an operation like this where 15 to 20 people are listening to everything you do all the time without being gifted. She went like this and three people turned around. <laughs> three minutes in there, I'm like, what should I be doing? I'll go get the flour. Give this to her. Pass me the waffle mix. Yeah, can I use one, please? That's how you do it. Gotta have someone who's the beating heart of a place. That's true, thank you. Sister Jeanette is a force to be reckoned with in the kitchen. Click the links for more great food stories and the people making it happen. And don't forget to subscribe.